Okay, so now we're going to need a latching system for this gate. We've chosen the X2 Viper as I explained before, and this is just how easy this thing is to fit. So first thing what I need to show you is, obviously not all gates swing from left to right. The great thing about this latch is I can reorientate my left to right operation as simple as that. So now I've screwed my brackets, or the first bracket, onto the post. I want to check that the brackets line up with one another. And I'm only screwing the inside for now. Now that our brackets are on, it's time to drill a hole for the rod, the actuation rod, where it goes through the post to actuate the latch uh, in either side of the post. There's a couple of different ways to do it. I'll show you both, starting with this. On the bottom hole, I'm going to scribe a circle, I'll then take this bracket off and I'll drill it. Once I've removed the bracket and I've made a circle with my scribing tool, I can then take a pre-drill, place it in the centre of this and drill that hole. Swap the, uh, the drill out for a 13mm and repeat the process. Here's the other method I was going to tell you about. Rather than taking that other bracket off, this is the other way of doing it. I have here a stage drill or a step drill. I'll leave the bracket on here. These screws aren't screwed in, just the sides. They go through the centre of my bottom hole. And drill that out just like that. Okay, so now I've drilled my hole through here, through the post and we have a corresponding hole on the other side. I'm just going to replace my latch body and just check its level at the top. I take my actuation rod and if you look at it carefully, there's incrementation of what thickness post it is. In this instance, it's a 50 millimeter post. So what I'm going to do is come to the 50 millimeter line on the rod and I'm going to cut it with the hacksaw right on the line. Okay, so now I've cut my rod at 50 millimeters. I'm going to insert it into the keyed end. There's a slot, you can't really get it wrong. You've just got to make sure that that all goes in properly. You can then turn this left and right and back to the center. The riding should be facing up and down. Once that's correct, place it through the hole It'll line itself up into the spigot of the other unit. Your screws are already pre-drilled there and lock them off. Take your longer screws and lock these off and we'll check the operation. Once they're screwed off, your latch should operate from both sides. Okay, now that the latch bodies are on and they're functioning from either side as they should, please note, I haven't put a key in one of these yet. That is the very last thing you do. Take your striker, striker pin, position it on your gate and align exactly where it needs to sit. I'm just gonna scribe the inside hole here so as I can now insert my screw. Now you can see that that's sitting a little bit high. I have elongation in that screw hole. I just want to make sure that that latch sits exactly in the centre of that and then screw the rest of the latch body off.
Now that that's locked off, my striker and latch should be working from either side. Fantastic. 